So we're moving to our second dessert, which is more classically French. This one, we're doing the Bûche de Noël, that is the Christmas Yule. And uh, the Christmas Yule was done because the, 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 the story was that you had to burn a big log in the, in the, in the fireplace during the Middle Ages in France. It has to burn the whole night without, without stopping. If it stopped, it was bad luck for the year. If it didn't stop, however, you took the ashes, and the ashes were supposed to, to cure, you know, headache, to cure everything. You sprinkled them there, it was good luck or whatever. So that's the story this of the This is a great history the lesson. De Noël. I didn't know. Oh, you didn't know that? No. I just Aren't eat it. French? Oh, I just French. eat it and it's good. So I'm going to beat the egg white for you, and I what you're going to yolks. mix the egg yolk, I sugar. Have sugar. And I have a little bit of vanilla, and I'm going to start mixing that. Good idea. So here, what you do, you want to go very fast to start with, to break the white so that they don't go like a wet mop around your wick. And then you start slowly lifting it up. You can see that I barely touch the bowl. This is hard work. Now do I, I know. I do I put jug. the flour in here yet? You have to put your flour, yes. Okay. Put the whole thing in it and stir it gently. And my egg whites are not ready, but... Almost. Almost. So it goes pretty fast. You don't want any lump here, Claudine. No, I know. So change hand when you're... Well, this hand... No, I can't. No. <laughs> That's it. That's good. That's fine. Nice and smooth, right? I'm tightening the white. Man. I think you should have been a drummer. <laughs> no, but you see, that's it. That's what they all with. So, you want me to put that in there? Okay. Tastes good. And I keep this because we're going to fold it with that. Okay. One second. So, very coarsely. I don't want to break down my white too much, so mix okay. it this. coarsely and then start folding it. That's good. All right. And you can see this. here that I move my bowl. And I don't move my hand so that the whole thing is nice and light. I want to show you how to line up a mold like this. I mean, uh, I have a piece of paper here. What Just you do, regular parchment? Parchment, you butter half of it. Then you fold the other oh, one. This I know. And it's buttered on each side. And what you do, you cut the corner here, this way, and this way. We open it. Everything is better. So that when you fold it like this, at the corner, those two things cross like that. You see the way they like cross? Like this. You see the way they cross? Well, since you're so good at this, are you going to be wrapping all the Christmas presents too? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the proper way of doing it. That in there. See, this is a biscuit roulé, you know, a rolled. And that again, you can do a day or so ahead, you know. When it's cold, just cover it with plastic wrap, and you want to keep it refrigerated, of course, until re you're ready to roll it. Okay. All the rest of it. And that's it? That's it. And I'm going to put this in the oven. In the middle, right about? In the middle. Good. I have one which is ready here, as you can see, mm. done on this. Are we taking the whole thing out? Yeah, might as well. That's it. That's a month. And then, of course, there is about 10 different type of uh, cream you can do in it. In fact, when I was a kid, my mother put jam in it. That, I love that, just so raspberry jam. jam. Mm -hmm. Yes, raspberry jam. But uh, I have a chocolate cream here. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> So the chocolate cream, what I have here 
y la crème pâtissière, so called crème pâtissière, that is a pastry cream, which is flour, egg yolk, a bit of uh, vanilla, flour, egg yolk, vanilla, and then uh, milk. You boil the whole thing together, it gets thick, you have a pastry cream, and then you just put the chocolate in it, it melts in there, you can flavor it with something else. So this one is a little, actually, it's a little stiff, because you have to do it ahead. Now, very often in store, they do it with a buttercream, which mm. is, of course, much richer than that. Yeah. It's not only the question of richness, it's a question that the buttercream will hold better than that. So for people who do it for several days, you know, when they do the bake shop, I have to taste this. this is a bit easier, you know, than this. I like this because it doesn't have alcohol in it. And you know how I feel, I don't like alcohol in my desserts. You don't like alcohol in your dessert? No, I like it on the side, in a glass. <laughs> and then now you, you can use the paper, you know, the rolling, mm. to roll it like this, you see. And that also, you can even have it ready. You know, a couple of days ahead, you will rewrap that in there, Thank you. put that in your refrigerator, that's ready. You, can, you, you want, want me to get the, the tray? tray? Yeah. In our case, of course, we want to use it right away, so. And we want it. Um, Seam side down. Yeah, approximately. Oh, it's so nice and moist. That's it. You can even twist it a little bit. Remember, it's a log, a tree log, so maybe we have it this way, right? Put in. Perfect. So now we do another cream on top. You could have the same cream on top. But I wanted to do. So I have melted chocolate here and cream. And we do what we call a ganache souffle, that is a whipped ganache and a little bit of rum in there. Well, a tablespoon of rum. That's good. And this, I want to work this out mm. into a kind of a buttercream, you know, if you want. Just whip it, it whipped. You don't want to whip it too much because you don't want to get it too fluffy. What do you mean too fluffy? If you put too much air in it, it gets very fluffy and you know what happened? It gets hard and I can't spread it out. Oh. But they are just holding like that. That's a whipped ganache. Hmm. Yeah? You want to taste it? <laughs> yeah. So we have our ganache on top. So, what you want to do is to use the size of your uh, thing to um, up. We're going to clean up. We can put decorations on top if we mess up the. Yes. That's it. I'm going to put some on this side. You want it thick enough because we're going to mark it with a, a tin to do the, the bark of the tree. But the first thing that we do, we cut the side up a little bit on a bias like this to do the stump of one tree, you know, here. And uh, cut the other side too. A messy business, huh? No, but it's fun. It is... The, the other stump. Okay. Never Christmas without this. So that's why. You know, I need the rubber spatula, I need a bit more of this. Right? Okay, but here, but, what, you, what you want, you want this also, remember. Outside. So now it does look like the stump of a tree. So you know that's good because you use everything. The trimming at the end, that's good. There's a hole okay. right here. Wait, wait a minute, now the fun part of it. You're gonna do that. You do the bark of a tree here. Like this, just lightly, you know? That's that, you wanna push too much into it. <laughs> 
do this, yeah. yeah now it's starting to look like a, a log, yeah? Mm-hmm. And even... Oh, that's maybe. nice. And now it's okay. perfectly fine this way. This would be the classic way. You put a lot of... Uh, you can put some holly around or stuff. But then if you want to well. do another more, com more complicated or thing, you can do what I did here, which is taking a little piece of plastic wrap, a little piece of uh, uh, parchment, uh, paper. parchment paper, rather, like this, and you have some melted chocolate, you spread it on top. Just melted chocolate with nothing? No, with nothing. Okay. And then on top of that, we put some... Uh, mint. Mint, because there is... Mint goes well with chocolate. See, that's it. And that's the bark of our uh, thing. You know, we can break it. It should stick to that, you know, a little bit. Okay. Well, it will when it's a little bit warmer. Oh, I, this I is am. so beautiful. I think this one is even a bit big. Maybe I'll cut some. Doesn't matter that it's box, so you yeah, know if it's, it's you cut it, you can already remelt it. You know, do whatever you want with it. You will notice that as it uh, warm up a little bit in your dining room, will have a tendency to soften. You know, fall a little bit on mm. top. Well, we have some decoration. Maybe a little bit of snow, right? So we can go skiing. Okay. And then you have some decoration that you prepare there. Mm -hmm. Little berries and leaves and just anything you have around. Yes. Mm. Okay, a couple of the berry there. Maybe, Claudine, what do you think here, mm. there? A couple of berry here and there. Holly or... The berries are not for eating, they're just for decoration. Okay, I think we have a, a splendid bûche de Noël. Don't you think so? Well, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas.